An area of Palisade known for its vineyards was recently granted protection by the Colorado West Land Trust, preserving the land of future generations of farmers. Reporter Alex Rivero talked with several of those involved in the effort. Grapevines, they're very resilient, but they have limitations, especially when it comes to deep winter temperatures. In case you already didn't know, there are about 600 different varieties of grape, and we've been cultivating them since we've been cultivating anything. Charlotte Oliver, the CSU Viticulture Extension Specialist for the Western Slope, talked with me about the unique geography of this location and how a constant wind helps maintain a stable temperature, making it one of the few places that survived a recent frost. We have this really interesting canyon that's coming out of the Debec Canyon itself and then moving down the valley over into um, the Colorado National Monument. And with that, we actually have a perpetual wind. You can kind of see my hair moving right now. That wind never stops. And that wind carries a nice steady temperature all season long. So even in the winter, it'll be much warmer at the mouth of the canyon than it will be all the way out at the edges. It's the best of the best. Owner of Hawk Ridge Vineyard, John Garlich, recognized this area's unique qualities and contacted the Colorado West Land Trust, an organization founded in 1970 dedicated to land conservation. We decided to preserve that by uh, put it in a conservation easement. Executive Director of Colorado West Land Trust Rob Blyberg explains what the conservation easement means. When we say protect, what we mean is that we've entered into an agreement with that landowner. It's a voluntary agreement called a conservation easement. Once that agreement is in place, however, that is a binding agreement on this landowner and subsequent landowners. And the way that this agreement is written is it's, it's, it's crafted to support in this case, wine production, fruit production, farming. Palisade has grown since its humble beginnings, adding one more winery to its list of protected areas. So we're really pleased to be able to work with this family to protect this property because it's, it's part of what makes our community a unique, wonderful place. And it's part of what we want to pass on to future generations as well. Alex Rivero, KREX 5 News.